to YouTube. Um, in this video, I'm going to be calling out some more shills out there. Uh, and these two shills are Rachel Reinstra and Richie from Boston. Um, these shows aren't just running disinformation ops, they're also scamming their viewers actively. Uh, I'm going to show you a bit of context of this. Rich, Rachel Reinstra and Richie from Boston are behind this whole latest chem lung uh, fascination, and it's, it's nothing but controlled opposition and disinformation. Um, you can find the clip. Uh, I'm going to show you the doctor that supposedly Rachel Reinstra supposedly has chem lung, and she's going to see this doctor, and Richie from Boston. You can hear it from his own mouth. He said, oh, I didn't check the credentials of the doctor. I didn't check the credentials. He's a doctor, though. But I'm going to show you the. I'm going to show you who this doctor is and show you how it's nothing but controlled opposition. This doctor that Rachel Reinstra and Richie from Boston went to is actually a high-level papal knight of the St. John of Jerusalem. Okay, so that's not a coincidence. And Richie from Boston on his channel ultimately gatekeeps for the Vatican power structure. I'm going to – I'll go through some of his um, video titles. Uh, in this video, and you'll see how he's nothing but a gatekeeper. And there's no coincidence that the doctor that he recommended is a high-level Vatican knight. Okay, so I'm going to show you that. Okay, um, screen share. Okay, this is the doctor here. This is from Rachel Reinstra's cha own channel, Dr. Enrico Mickelson. This is the Chemlung doctor right here. Okay, um, and I have the clip here. Dr. Enrico Mickelson. Okay, there he is. Okay, this guy has quite a big resume here. We see here in 2008, Enrico Mickelson received his Knight of the Honor of the Saint, so the Sovereign Order of the Orthodox Knights Hospitaller of St. John's, Jerusalem, acknowledging his li lifelong scientific healing and humanitarian contributions to service. And guys, Richie from Boston, also, he hasn't told you that um, this is what really the chemtrails are gatekeeping. Like, they, they put out all this chem lung stuff. You see, like, the... Uh, I've called out like the channels um, Enslaved by Media and Awake Souls for putting out disinformation that the chemtrail planes are demons. It's all to really hide who's doing the geoengineering aerosol programs, and it's the Jesuits. I, actually, I, I have a video of this on my channel. You can watch it. But John Brennan, a former CIA director who was trained at Fordham by Jesuits, John Brennan is now on the Jesuit Fordham. He leads the Jesuit Fordham University National Security Council. Okay, but uh, former CIA director, Jesuit trained John Brennan, admitted to chemtrails at the Jesuit controlled Council of Foreign Relations. And that's what all these shows are trying to hide. They're also trying to hide, too, that universities now are offering geoengineering programs. Here's one of them, like Oxford, for example. Oxford was created at, the University of Oxford was created in a papal bowl in the 1200s. You can look that up. Okay, and the University of Michigan has a geoengineering program. Um, and there's many others, University of Texas. I've covered it that Georgetown University put out a document for uh, calling for population engineering. Okay, and that's what these shows are hiding. But this is the doctor here that Rachel Reinstra recommended or went to for her quote unquote chem lung. And R Richie from Boston told all of the, told his viewers that, oh, you got to donate money to Rachel Reinstra. You got to donate money. And Ra I'm going to show you uh, Rachel, Rachel Reinstra. Literally, she worked for ABC News. She has a Wikipedia page. Literally coming right out of the mainstream media to work with. Uh, YouTube deceiver Richie from Boston. And guys, remember, it was former Knight of Malta, uh, Jesuit trained at Fordham, uh, William Casey, who's the director of the CIA in the 80s, said our dis that said our disinformation campaign will be complete when everything the American public believes is false. And you see, in 2013, Dr. Enrico Mickelson was elevated to the rank of Knight Commander of the Order of St. John Jerusalem. Okay. I make this shit up. Okay. He teaches all of these quote, like, consciousness classes on meta systems, etc. Um, you see here, he works for the, he served as the senior scientist of China's Third Brain Research Institute, a think tank for neurobioinformatics R&D center. So this guy's all over the establishment. Okay. Um, he's connected to the World Organization of Natural Medicine. Yeah, and guys, this is all. This is the Pope's uh, inquisitive. Uh, what medicine is is it's an inquisition. I'll read you a quote from that by uh, an author, Robert Mendelssohn. Uh, after this, but see, this is and I'm not making this up. This is the doctor that Rachel Reinstra suggested, a knight of the Order of Saint John Jerusalem, and it's from Rachel Reinstra's YouTube right here. Okay, and actually, and here, here's Rachel Reinstra's. Uh, she says that she only makes $30,000 a year. She's like, oh, you have to support me for my chemtrail. I only make $30,000 a year. Really? You only make $30,000 a year? 
Um, she's an American comedian and actress, celebrity wildlife conservationist. She, she, um, she worked for HGTV in the past. And she also, yeah, she works for, she's the host of the Disney ABC television group Emmy nominated series, The Wildlife Dogs. So really you you work for ABC and Disney and HGTV and you only make $30,000 a year. Really? <laughs> what a joke. And even you see her chemtrail conspiracy theory came up on Wikipedia. Okay. And again, it's, it's all about, it's, it's controlled opposition to the reality that the Jesuits are controlling the geoengineer. It's all controlled opposition and to make the opposition look ridiculous. Okay. And actually I've, I've been play a little YouTube video here. So you just see Rachel Reinstra is full of shit. I have it on my phone. It'll play. Here it is, Here. Rachel Reinstra again, reporting to you from a very sick state of health. <laughs> She's not sick. She doesn't have chemo. It's all a scam. Um, it is now my tenth day of having something that the doctors cannot figure out. And guys, you notice, uh, actually, I noticed on her degree here, she got a degree in psychology. She got her master's degree in spiritual psychology. That's interesting, because what all this disinformation is, is psychological warfare. She, she's consciously, she knows what she's doing. She has a degree in psychology. She's consciously putting out disinformation, and she's consciously scamming hundreds of YouTubers with Richie from Boston. To continue. And I'm going to I went in and I just I'm going to show you some more connections to Richie from Boston too after this. So you just see he actually I'm going to show you Richie from Boston actually was on like a local Boston news uh broadcast uh, this year, like a few months ago and you'll see like he's just connected to the the uh the power structure. No doubt he's a Freemason or he's a Knight of Columbus or he's in a secret society. But continuing from Rachel Reinstra. Back from the doctor, and I want to share it, okay? I want to share it because it validates something that I said. And yeah, guys, the chem lung doctor that she's seeing is Enrico Melson, who is a knight in the Order of St. John Jerusalem, which is a Vatican military chivalry order. Continuing. For a long time. And it's interesting because a lot of the, let's just say, doctors in the medical field usually dismiss anything that has to do with, um, Oh, I don't know. Which means she has an IMDb page. Or things in the air that you might be breathing that might make you sick. Okay, well, today. She's controlled opposition. This I is an actor, on guys. camera <laughs> a doctor telling me exactly not only what he thinks has made me sick or could have made me sick, but he's witnessed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in California, and he has reports of them all over the country getting a certain thing oh, really? called. Chemtrail lung. <laughs> You'll never see those reports, guys. You'll never I'm see not. them. I wish I was. But I'm never. Not. Those reports will never ever and see I'm the really light sure of day. It is my tenth day of being sick. I went into the doctor five days ago. This is after trying to what beat whatever it is I have. This is it's the doctor pain, here. Cough, fever, regular flu stuff, right? So I went five days ago. They stuck this really big, long stick up my nose, and and I thought. What the hell? I swear to God, it touched my brain, and I don't have much of a brain to spare. But that's how they test <laughs> Until you. Until you don't, if you're serving the fucking Jesuits, you don't have, have a brain, okay. you're soulless. And then I asked him, should you get the flu shot if you're sick? And uh, I got that on camera, too. He says, doing, this is nothing but dissimulation. Watch my video on dissimulation. Essentially, dissimulation is presenting a falsehood, and this is what this whole chem lung nonsense is but i'm gonna play a couple more minutes of this no. you can just you can just hear her, like she's completely full of shit and like she worked for abc and there's no there's no coincidence that richie from boston with 200k subs is promoting this clown rachel reed strip but continuing no. and guys richie do you see this doctor here with his knights of the hospitaller of st john jerusalem credentials richie you can watch the video he says oh i didn't check the doctor's credentials oh blah, 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 blah. Okay, but then, that's the <laughs> He's, obviously, he's not going to tell you that the doctor is connected to the Vatican. But continue. Oh, and he was grateful that I did not have a flu shot because he said more people have been sick that have gotten the flu shot this year than those that have not. All right. That's just one medical doctor's opinion, but I have it. I have it on camera. And the second thing that I want to say is I went. You guys, if you watch this video, she has like myself with she has like a headset on. Like it's <laughs> she's an actor garlic and lemons and you name it i have tried everything lots of sleep kept myself healthy still still very 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 sick 
So I finally went back. This is Richie's real name here, and Richard Komodo. Today, he said, um, he said it sounds like it's in your chest. So he took 8,000 subscribers. I bet a lot of these subscribers are bought and paid for have, as well. Um, it's the, it's all the present it's all to present to the psyop that there's more people like paying attention to Rachel Reinshire than they actually are. So it gets to dupe the people who into are actually gonna give this fraud money to think that there's lots of people who are supporting her when I'm sure most of these views are bought and paid for. We'll continue. And I said, How do you think again look, there's no <laughs> there's no truth on this channel, like at all. Like you're never ever gonna hear Rachel Reinstra talking about the geopolitical priesthood that is the Jesuits. And they're intrigued, but continuing. I think I got this. Well, he said, Rachel, we don't know. We put you on a certain antibiotic, which he did five days ago. I went on Keflex. It did nothing. If anything, it made me worse, which antibiotics most of the time do. So when I came back to him, I said, I'm not any better. And he said, well, we can put you on a different antibiotic called z -Pat. Oh, she's getting people to go down the cloning humans. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, actually, I came up across a video of a, there was this guy, Donald Marshall. He was talking about uh, these reptilian cloning facilities, and it was just so it was such nonsense. Like I, <laughs> I was just laugh. I was laughing watching it. But people do people eat it up and take it seriously. But you need to understand disinformation. It's very important. Not guarantee it's going to help, but it. There's so many viruses out there. There's so many bacterial infections. And I said, where are they? Do you think Rachel Reinstra is going to tell you that uh, Jesuit St. Louis University gave Robert Gallo a sort of Ignatius Loyola? Of course not. Continuing. Coming from, and this is when I recorded it. And when he told me, I said, can I get you on camera saying that? Because I really, really want a lot of people to know. And that's why I'm giving this video. She's doing videos on The Bachelorette with her truth or I might air concept. it on my channel, but I think I'm actually going <laughs> to give it to Richie from Boston. Because not only is he... You're gonna give it to Rich there. Oh, He's Richie from Boston. A lot of people following him, and I think that you're R Rachel Reinstra. Richie from Boston is a quote awesome truther. Let's get it continuing. The more people that know this, the better. And I'm gonna tell you something. Not a lot of doctors come out and say the truth, and this guy is willing to be on camera saying the truth. And I'll tell you something else. <laughs> I have a show on ABC every Saturday morning. It's called The Wildlife Docs. Ironically, docs is in doctors. Self-admitting, she works for ABC. She works for the mainstream media, which is controlled by the Jesuits. If you watched my last video, Avro Manhattan and the Vatican Billions says the Jesuits own tons of assets in the TV and news industry. Continuing. The veterinarians of wildlife. And this is my fifth year having this TV show. And I've about. been outing the truth. Richie's one of the people uh, that inspired me to start making videos. I don't. <laughs> Richie inspired her to start making videos. What a joke. Okay, Richie and the people that Richie's handlers called you to say that hey, we need you to uh, create some disinformation for us. Continuing. I do all my videos in my car, by the way, so don't car start calling me Richie from Boston because I'm not. Funny, Richie from Boston, the real, see, I just want to see this, the real terrorist behind 9-11. If you haven't watched, watch my video, Georgetown, the Knights of Malta, and 9-11. And you'll see this video here is nothing but gatekeeping for the Jesuits taking down the Twin Towers. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it, it, Vietnam it doesn't tell you the like, Roman Catholics were directly behind Vietnam. See, this video is all crap. There's no mention of the Jesuits in this video. He's trying to get you down the rabbit hole that, like... The Council of Foreign Relations through like the Skull and Bones controls the U.S. government without making a connection that both of those entities are controlled by the Jesuits. Continuing. And Interesting. I did a video on Walmart. Richie won't tell you that there's... I covered that there's five high-level executives at Walmart who have Jesuit degrees. And Walmart's working hand in hand with the Department of Homeland Security, which is right now controlled by Jesuit Kristen Nilsson, which Richie obviously won't tell you. And Richie's promoting the Flat Earth PSYOP. I really think Richie what got on board with the Flat Earth PSYOP just to get more views, viewers. And it, the Flat Earth PSYOP ultimately, I think, is, the tar is a target at Christians. Okay, and Richie knew that he could sucker in a lot of Christians into watching his channel by bringing up the Flat Earth. Maybe yeah, continuing. I'm gonna, play, like, I'm gonna play one more minute of this for you. From Hollywood, as you might say, because I am, that's where I live. Nobody's, nobody's a truther. No one's at least 
willing to step out and talk <laughs> about this stuff. Chemtrail doctor, do they get played? Like, now he's making a mockery of it. Because I'd rather have the truth be out than not. Okay, so I'm making this video, and um, I'm going to give it to Richie from Boston so that he... Nephilim Giants. Have a lot more people see it. This is all. This is entertainment, guys. The two right. channels all entertainment. And uh, <laughs> just look at the video away. titles. I ask him no truth. Why I got this bacterial infection? And he tells me a little bit. And you heard from Rachel Greensha. Richie from Boston inspired her to start making and videos on Kemlong. Something that I was very surprised with. That is now not just something he made up, but something that's known amongst. Actually, the, funny. You see this picture here of Joseph Stalin doing the Masonic hand in quote. Doctors. Richie won't tell you that Joseph Stalin was educated in the seminary. I'm going to just out okay. this, and I'm going to hope that as many people see it as possible, because for me, it's very validation. I'm going to hope that as many people see it as possible, because for me, it's validation that what I've been saying, what Richie's been saying... It's validation that you're full of shit. <laughs> okay, and actually, here's the, here was Richie from Boston. He was on, you see here, Rich, this is CBS, local CBS News in Boston, where YBZ. And actually, I, I did a write-up on my... Um, on Rome Rule subreddit of the Archdiocese of Boston Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, which is another huge aspect that Richie from Boston gatekeeps. He gatekeeps how the real corporate government works. But the Boston Archdiocese in the report that I went through has over $800 million in assets, possibly over a billion actually, counting their land. And, uh, and actually in 1983, Avro Manhattan wrote that the assets for the Archdiocese of Boston were 650 million. So now they're up to like 1.3 billion. So from 1983 to now, which is 25 years, that makes sense that their uh, assets in their various uh, commingled and enterprise funds in the Archdiocese of Boston will, would have uh, compounded an additional $300 million. But Richie from Boston doesn't tell you how real how the real control system works. He doesn't tell you how the diocese system works. He doesn't tell you how the Jesuit provincial system works. Better. But you see here, this is Richie from Boston was supposedly hit by this car. Okay. <laughs> this, this, is, this is Richie's real name. Uh, this is Nathan from CBS. Richie Comito couldn't believe what he was seeing Saturday morning. The owner of a vehicle being carjacked by a woman who then ran him over as she took off. Okay, so obviously the woman didn't run Richie over. He's participating in like a, just like a PSYOP news story in Boston. It was just... <laughs> Quote, she took off, it was chaos, stuff like it, that doesn't happen around here, end quote, Camito said. Okay. Um, you, you can't make this shit up, guys. Like, Richie literally took part in a local PSYOP in Boston. And I, I found Richie's uh, business here. You can, Richie works for this New Look Refinishing in Worcester, Massachusetts. Okay. Um, and let me see, there are some reviews here. Um, yeah, he, Richie, and it just shows, like, it just tells, like, he's a fraud on YouTube, and it makes it, he's, his business would be kind of fraudulent, too. These are reviews from Richie's website. You see here, guys, contact information, principal, Mr. Richard Comito on uh, new finishing. Okay, customer complaints. Okay, so this is about Richie. Okay, so I made many phone calls to business unanswered after Richie finished two bathrooms for me. One, the shower, had a large drip of paint. Her, uh, She promised to fix. I have a 10-year warranty and was very pleased with the work except the drip. He said he would call. He said he'd call to come back. I made 24 phone calls on different occasions. And uh, as you see here, and all I get is a voicemail. So here you got a guy, who, Richie said he'd give this guy a guarantee to uh, fix his bathroom. And this guy's had to make 24 phone calls to Richie. He hasn't got any nothing back from him. This guy, this complaints here said Richie lied when he said there was a 10-year warranty on the bath. He didn't do the job right and also lied when someone called to claim the warranty. Uh, I had Richie refinish my bathtub in 2012. He didn't do the job right at first with some patches left in the finishing. He said that there was a 10-year warranty on the tub. He also said in an email he didn't do the job right at first. When I asked him to come and fix it, he kept on giving excuses like taking care of his elderly grandmother and he was too busy. I let it go for some time knowing I would not have any progress with him. When I tried again after, after some renters had left, he would not answer the phone. This was in the 2015 when my real estate broker called and said that 
It was a different Richie and not the one from the bathtub company. What a pathetic lie. His phone number has not changed. <laughs> Dude, the guys, this is Richie's company here. New, new look finishing. The principal, Richard Camuto. Yeah, and you see here, Richie, just like how he's scamming people on YouTube, getting them to support this Rachel Reinsta fraudster with the Kemlung, who Rachel Reinsta is promoting this Vatican doctor here. Enrico Melson, who is a knight commander of the Order of St. John Jerusalem. You see, Richie is... You know them by, as Jesus said, you know them by their fruit. So if Richie is scamming YouTubers, it makes sense he's going to be scamming people with his bathtub business as well. And guys, Richie, Richie from Boston was on local television. Okay. And he completely gatekeeps the real um, power structure of the Vatican. Okay. He doesn't really, he doesn't tell you any like legal truths. Okay. He doesn't break down like definitions. You'll never go through like a black slot dictionary with you. Okay. It's all. Just to, it's like, it's an appearance that Richie is informing you, but he's not really informing you. He's just ultimately tying to your emotions. Okay, and that's what all these shills do. They get you riled up with emotions and they don't educate you on the real facts. Okay, but that's what I wanted to show for this video. Just Rachel Reinstra and Richie from Boston are shills. And Richie was getting people to donate money to the chem lung doctor. And this is the same Richie from Boston that said that his laptop caught on fire during a live stream on YouTube and while his laptop was on fire, he was still able to talk to his live stream. Okay, so he's completely full of shit. Yeah. Yeah, but that's all for this one, YouTube. Uh peace and love and uh nom nas. Take care.